Hello peeps. No scrapping today, I'm afraid there's not a lot on. It's the same old, same old, so I thought I'd uh, give you a little update on the camper van, or the ambulance that's going to be a camper van, or the colonel as I like to call it. I had a rather interesting chat with a mate of mine the other day who works for LAR Recovery. They use the Phoenix system in their recovery trucks. The same system they use in this ambulance. Only gave me a few little tips. Um, for instance, if you press the arrive scene, wait for a beep and a click. Apparently, which it hasn't done this time, you can take the key out of the ignition. Can you see that? And the van carries on running. And it only stops when you take the handbrake off. Handy little feature I have, possibly. I don't know, maybe. I thought it was good anyway. But yeah, I'm, I'm a sad child, so it's really difficult to tell. Um, I'm trying really, what it is, I'm trying really, really hard not to get rid of this Phoenix system. Um, okay, other like features I do know. Left light, that turns on the lights on the side of the van, lights on the rear of the van, lights on the right of the, right of the van. They're basically alleyway lights, work lights on the outside. You've got your heater, which you turn on from in here, or you can turn it on from in the back. Um, saloon lights, you can turn on from the front here. I'm not sure if you can turn them on from the back. I think they have to be turned on from in here. The heater, I can turn it on from the back. So that quite a few modern motorhomes use uh, a central system like that now, but they run it from a little tablet, something along those lines. This is old school. This is the very beginnings. It's like a, it's like an Arduino on a bigger scale. Um, so in the coming weeks, if DVLA ever let me tax the vehicle so I can get it out and use it, I will. Um, have a bit more play with it and see what I can do but until that happens I'm afraid there's not much else I can do apart from telling you that 999 mode makes the headlights flash from side to side which is a bit naughty to be perfectly honest uh, arrive scene mode allows you to um, take the key out of the ignition leave scene mode I haven't figured out yet hospital arrival mode I haven't figured out yet um, what else have I got I should really, you've got beacon, traffic, which is I think is a different type of siren. Siren, they've all been removed, so they, they, they can't work. Grill lights have been removed. Um, lights have been removed. I say they're the alley lights, they work. No idea what pre-check mode is. Saloon mode turns on the lights in the back, which I'm going to use in a minute because I'm going to show you some bits and pieces I've bought for the back. Um, the rest I've just got to sort out, but it was a really interesting chat with my mate from LAR at, and realising that they use the exact same system and have been for the past 15-20 years and they're quite happy with it. Just in case anybody was interested as to what the Phoenix system looks like, it's that massive bundle right there. And no, I don't know what any of it does. So don't ask me. But there's lights and stuff and lots and lots and lots of wire. I just have to uh, severely curtail my pikey tendencies to want to scrap it all if I'm going to play with it. I probably will end up scrapping it, but I'd like to play with it first. It's got lots of fuses. My god, there's a lot of relays. It's just like a massive Arduino. Look at that. Here's an EEPROM, so it's programmable. I would assume somewhere along the lines there's a LAN connection. Obviously the switch panels on the front run from a network cable. So somewhere along the line there's a way of programming it. Right, I'm back again peeps. What I have bought from a local company called TLC in Enfield, fairly local anyway. I've bought some Unistrut, although it's not actually called Unistrut, it's called something different on their website. Um, this stuff worked out to, I think it was £13.65 a length, 
it's the same as unit strut I bought loads of bits and pieces of it I've got some uh, end caps to finish it off nuts to go or bolts to go with the sliding nuts which slide in there basically I'm gonna have four runs running front to back on the roof these will be where I mount my solar panels off of and I bought an extra one so I can have some running across sideways so I can have a roof rack at the back something along those lines we'll see I'm not actually 100% sure how I'm going to do the roof yet I haven't decided but TLC they're uh, on the web they're only doing click and collects at the moment but they're cheaper than any other supplier I've found for the Unistrut although as I say I don't think this is actually proper uni strut it's not galvanized so it needs to be painted but I would have painted it black anyway so just to keep in with the color scheme of the vehicle so there's that that's going to be keeping me going for a little bit in my car at the moment I've got some closed cell phone insulation purchased this online this product requires warming okay lovely well, there we go. This is, I think it's five mil foil backed closed cell phone. This is basically for going inside the doors. I don't think the doors are insulated. I don't know. I've got to take them apart yet and have a look. This one needs rubbing down and covering anyway. Um, I've got to have a look at these contacts that have been painted over to see if I can get the central locking working because apparently it has got central locking. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, there we go this is a, that's about it this is all I've picked up so far I've got a few other little bits and pieces I've got some um, speed um, changes for the two fans um, so I can turn the speeds up and down because they are very fast and very noisy and I've also got a controller box that goes with them so I can change their direction so when the time comes, I should be wiring them in. That should be interesting. Even if it just catches fire, it'll be something for you lot to have a laugh at. Other than that, um, have I bought anything else for the van? No, not at the moment. As you can see, the keys are out, so I'm in a scene arrival mode. <laughs> Child, yeah, well. Um, so that's all there is, really. I just thought I'd, I've got nothing else to video, so I thought I'd come and video my van. And unfortunately, this is all I've got to video of the van, so. It's not terribly exciting in any way, shape or form, I'm afraid. But, you know, I'm trying to find some content for you guys and I'm trying to stop myself being bored shitless, to be perfectly honest. So, I'm having a bit of a play. I'll catch you all soon. Ta-ta, peeps.